Hi guys, it's X. Welcome back to my channel. On today's video, it's going to be filmed in segments because I don't want to eat all this food that I'm going to show you in one sitting or in one day. Um, but basically today what we're going to talk about is high protein snacks and some of them are pretty caloric, um, but it is just a quick way for me. I love snacking. That is my biggest problem. So I try to find snacks now that are high in protein. Well, I guess just a little bit more protein than normal um, and then things that I love that I normally would eat that I can I don't want to say not eat anymore but should eat in moderation so let's get started one thing I will bring to you right now is these quest peanut butter cups so I'm not gonna eat them today I do want one <laughs> but um, I love these almost a little bit more than Reese's peanut butter cups. I love Reese's peanut butter cups, probably one of my favorite chocolates. And so this, I honestly did not think that they could make this healthier, um, but for two cups, it is 200 calories. So I did do a little bit of research and went to the store and looked at the peanut butter or the Reese's peanut butter brand. And it is almost the same amount of calories, 210. However, I believe that in those, you only get four grams of protein for two, and this has 11 grams of protein for two. Um, there is a total of 15 grams of fat, uh, 13 grams of carbs. So there is sugar alcohol in this. Still not sure how I feel about it, but it's a wreath ritual. Um, eight grams, less than one actual sugar, and 11 grams of protein. So these I just love to snack on. There is another chocolate that they make that I will show you that I really don't care as much about, but let me bring it. Okay, this is the other one. So this one has 12 grams of protein, 200 um, calories per bar, 14 grams of fat, 20 grams of carbs and this one has one sugar and then sugar alcohol is five grams so this one i like but i'm like eh, it's more like nougaty coconutty caramel with almonds but i don't like it as much as the peanut butter one but i have these just in case my sweet tooth kicks in something i want to eat okay i said i was going to film this in segments but i figured if we're on a quest brand topic we might as well just talk about the other things so i bought these quest cookies not gonna lie i don't really like them as much this one isn't too bad so it's 250 calories per cookie 15 grams of protein uh 17 grams of fat 19 grams of carbs and then six um of the sugar alcohol i think my pe the peanut butter one has been my favorite i have not bought them again um and these probably expire soon yep <laughs> this one has 15 grams of protein so it is a good source of protein it's great the only thing is like the taste eh, it does not compare to a cookie next let's move on to the chips so i pulled out that i might not like the cookie as much but the chips okay texture you will have to get used to because the texture of it is not the best um this one has 20 grams of protein this one has 19 grams of protein these are uh, roughly 140 calories per bag um 4.5 grams to 5 grams of fat total carbs is five and four and we talked about protein so these they're pretty good um the protein chili and lime ones loaded taco was my favorite before this one came out so I really like this. I love hot Cheetos and spicy chips. And this is a really good alternative to those if you're trying to be a little bit healthier. Um, but the texture is the only thing that like, I don't think is the best, but the flavor is really, really good. Okay, what the hell? We might as well just finish. Um, <laughs> so I recently spoke about how I started eating caprese salads. It looks a little gross right now but it's mozzarella with tomatoes um and basil i don't put basil in my balsamic vinegar but 
that's basically what it is. And in this, it's five grams of protein per 28 grams, so one ounce of cheese. And this serves eight, so this is not very big. It's pretty caloric for that. Um, there's 70 calories per serving, so the whatever the 28 um, grams comes out to. So 70 calories, five grams of protein. I like this. It's basically what I've been eating um, just to get that extra protein in. So Oikos Pro, always a great um, quick little snack that you want to get. And this is 140 calories. The protein content is 20 grams, eight grams of carbs, three grams of fat. So that's pretty good. You can always go with cottage cheese. I don't know why, but when I was a kid, I did not like cottage cheese. I recently started really liking it. So for half a cup, uh, you get for 90 calories, you get 2.0 grams of fat, five grams of carbs, and 13 grams of um, protein in this. All right, I wasn't gonna bring up tuna, but it is a quick thing that you can make and snack with. Um, I like to eat mine with wheat thins. I put mustard mayonnaise, tuna, and then um, chopped up pickles in mine. That's how I eat it. But you get 20 grams of protein in it for the whole can, and it's only 90 calories. So that's a really good way to get protein. Lunch idea, just another thing. All right, another snack is peanut butter and banana. So peanut butter is pretty caloric for two tablespoons. It's 190 calories. You get 16 grams of fat, eight grams of um, carbs, but seven grams of protein. So sometimes when I don't feel like eating or didn't have time to eat before the gym, I do like to eat peanut butter and banana or like a good after like workout snack. But that is also a really good snack to have just to increase a little bit of protein in your day. All right, next, salami. So with deli meats, I have spoken in the past that it is there is a cancer warning and some people prefer not to eat deli meats but for one ounce serving size, which I believe I calculated to being three pieces of salami, um, it's 100 calories. You get six grams of fat, one gram of carb, and nine grams of protein. So that's pretty good for the calorie count. And then I, of course, I like to stir it with provolone cheese. This is the reduced fat one. And this has 60 calories per slice, but also has six grams of protein per slice. I didn't realize how much like protein um, was in cheese <laughs> until recently. Um, so that is another like cool little snack to have um, to increase your protein intake for the day. Next, we're gonna talk about protein bars. So I'm not really good at eating these consistently, but my favorite brand is from Built. So this one is, um, chocolate brownie, I believe. They have cookie dough. This is my favorite one. This is the coconut marshmallow. They have mint brownie. And then I have another one here that I like that is um, peppermint granola bar. So these are, I believe, about 17 to 20 grams of protein per bar. Yeah, these seven. 15. This one is 17. This one is 17. And then this one is 15. So I lied, no 20s. <laughs> um, like I could have swore I had some 20s. So of all the brands that make protein bars that I have tried, like I've tried Quest, it's just way too chalky for me. I've tried, let me see, my husband has a Think Bar here. <laughs> I've tried that. Like, I don't know, I've tried Women's Best and I love Women's Best, but for some reason, like, I just like the Built Bar brand the best. Um, so one thing that my husband complains about is it has gelatin in it. I like the Built Bars, but not only just the Built Bars, but the Built Bar Puffs specifically. Um, this one does have granola in it, so it's not exactly a puff. Um, it does have marshmallow, so let's talk about the macros in my favorite one real quick. So 140 calories per bar, two grams of fat, uh, 12 grams of carbs, and then 17 grams of protein. So I think the protein to carb ratio here is pretty decent. Um, but they're just my favorite, like, I don't know. The reason why I don't like protein, like, stuff is because, like, 
it's chalky. Like, I don't know. That's why I like women's best like protein powders because it doesn't taste bad. And other like bars that I've tried, I just, I don't care for, I don't like, but the Built Bars, I do like them as a brand. I really like um, the flavors that they have. However, the only thing that kind of sucks about this brand is that their stuff is very intermittent. You just never know what flavors are gonna be out. I mean, obviously like this peppermint granola is obviously a Christmas one, but, or like this cookie dough one is like a specialty one that they have. So like they're never consistent. You like, oh, I had a pumpkin pie one, um, or pumpkin spice one once, obviously during Halloween. But that's just kind of the thing that sucks about their brand is that um, you just never know what they're gonna have. Oh, I think I have one from Women's Best here. Sometimes they send me free stuff. So I don't know, this one is 250 calories for 20 grams of protein, 18 grams of carbs, and then 12 grams of fat. So I don't know. Um, I struggle to eat protein bars, but that one, that marshmallow one, it tastes like candy and I just love it. So that's why I like that one. Okay, obviously I'm gonna have to talk about protein shakes <laughs> as a snack, pick me up. So when I eat this, this one I really like, this is from Women's Best, obviously. These are probably two of my favorite that they have. Um, Clear Way, obviously I've talked about this in many videos, you guys are probably tired of hearing about it, but I really like this Clear Way. It makes me hit my protein goals every single time because I drink it no matter what, because it's just like drinking juice to me and I really like juice. so. I like this one. I just bought the peach iced tea one. That one should be coming in soon. Um, but all three flavors, well, two of the flavors that the lemon sorbet and this cherry lemonade are so good. And like, I turned my coworkers on to these and they were like, are you sure that it tastes good? Because I've tried other ones and I'm like, no, I swear by this brand. Like I love women's best so much. And like, you can tell this is already almost out. Um, <laughs> this chocolate one. So I do love their, whey protein powder their vegan one this is probably the best tasting brand i've ever had when it comes to protein powder however um i just the I struggle because i mix it with milk milk um and of course i use ripple milk because of the amount of protein content that it has in it but because of that like i just my stomach like i don't know i even if it's not like actual milk like lactate or cow's milk like I've tried everything, almond, oat, like soy. I just, ripple milk has been my favorite so far just because of the protein, but I just can't, like sometimes my stomach is just not in the mood, but um, sometimes I'll mix like not this flavor, but like banana, blueberries, strawberries, mangoes, like not with this one. I had a different uh, pina colada one that I would mix it with. Cat's calling me. Um, so yeah, I love this brand. It is my favorite so far, so that's some protein shakes you can think about. <laughs> I didn't think I'd be talking about this, but I was actually shocked at how much protein was in this when I first bought it. So this is edamame. Yes, I can sit and eat this entire package in one sitting. <laughs> um, this isn't really a snack, but sometimes I have this for lunch. Um, I'll add it to my lunch. So per the package, there's 250 calories and there is 24 grams of protein, which I thought was a little shocking to me. Um, six grams of fat and then 26 grams of carbs. So <laughs> I know this is strange, but <laughs> I really like it. So I just add, that it's so easy to make too. You just pop it in the microwave for four minutes, put some salt on and your snack is ready to eat. So I don't know, just thought I'd throw that in here. I film in this kitchen all the time and I don't know why this like ray of light is just beaming on me. I'm like, grandma, grandpa, is that you? Like, I don't know, understand why today it's like all up in my video, but okay. Um, last thing I'm gonna talk about, or probably, unless I think of more things, actually something's coming in the mail soon, so hopefully I will get it and I will add it to this video. But the other thing that I wanted to talk about was Halo Top. So I haven't been purchasing it as often because after I got my cholesterol and like labs back, like, I don't know, the snackies, I've kind of cut down on when it comes to like ice cream popcorn and all that. Um, so I haven't bought Halo Top in a while. This one I've just happened to have in the fridge. But if you want a healthier alternative to ice cream, um, my husband, I like him and I laugh because he is not like a junk food person. I totally am. And he was like, we were talking one day and he was like, oh my God, like, I don't understand how people can eat like a whole pint of ice cream in one sitting. I'm like, I used to eat half a gallon in one sitting. Like, what are you talking about? 
I know, so embarrassing, crazy. Um, but yeah, I could definitely down this, eat this in one sitting. Like the fact that this is three servings is just absolutely bonkers to me. Um, but in this entire thing, so for 350 calories, it's actually 17 grams of protein in it. Um, let me see. It has eight grams of fat and how many carbs 75 grams of carbs and then a lot of sugar so dietary sugars is 18 grams total of 31 grams oh sorry that was fiber um total sugars is 31 18 added and then sugar alcohol was the 18 so is it the healthiest probably not but it does have, it's an alternative that you can use and the protein content 17 grams so if you want to feel a little less guilty i would suggest trying halo top i just wish the flavors were like a little bit different like i wish they had a more variety of flavors like they have a, i think a de decent amount but like the kind of ice cream that i usually like is like green tea um which haagen dazs makes an amazing one but it's like 900 calories for the pint. um I love Rocky Road, which they don't have. <laughs> um, I they have cookies and cream and mint chip, which is okay. But like, I want and they have strawberry, but it's like mm, it's I. Um, I love rainbow sugar. Like I don't know. It's just I feel like the ice cream flavors that I would want, they just don't have in Halo Top, which I wish they did. But oh well, beggars can't be choosers. <laughs>